So entering through the front door, you can see the lovely um, stained glazed um, windows. To the left, we've got sort of lounge, TV area, living area. And as we go along, we come to the dining area and full length um, galley kitchen. To the back is the garden, which we'll explore in a moment. But over here, we have the side thing, linen cupboards and storage cupboards. And then the first of the bedrooms. Um, large trees sort of make things a little bit darker than otherwise. But I guess that's because it's a established garden. You've got the master bedroom, none of which are en suite, but this has got some good natural light and garden in two directions. And then to the third bedroom, now you can see that the um, ceiling height is good and um, It's uh, clean, although it doesn't have um, a huge amount of character. It looks like it's more in need of a little bit of a upgrade and refurbishment just to sort of get things modern. This, I assume, is the internal laundry uh, wet room. And then we've got a deck that walks out onto the garden area, which has got a little garage. A little shed and gardens. The garden itself is kept but uh, not particularly imaginative. A little bit of styling and work could be done to sort of improve the overall ambience but a solid uh, facade wall um, with the internals as described. And the house sits on the middle of the land with everything around it. As you can see, air conditioning over here and through to the street front over there.